I know that looked like a, a giant carton of Oreo ice cream. That was like um, healthy, unsweetened Greek yogurt. I just, I put it in the Oreo ice cream container. See, there's no, it's not ice cream. Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome back. So I definitely have some news for you guys. Yesterday, my lovely husband and I went up to Denver to get a second opinion from a surgeon. Recap if you don't know what's going on. Oh, side note, if there are like Oreo specks in my teeth, I'm really sorry. Not that I was eating Oreo ice cream. I'm just saying like, hypothetically, if there were, I apologize. Long story short, I had surgery back in March to fix my amputation. I had an amputation revision surgery to fix some issues that were going on. It didn't fix it. It, it fixed the problem, but somehow new ones came up. I was having lots of pain, lots of issues. I couldn't use my prosthetic leg at all. We're now at month seven post amputation where I can't walk. I decided to go ahead and get a second opinion from a second surgeon after seeing my initial surgeon for the issues that I was having and, and that didn't come to anything. It was a great appointment, to be honest with you. I was really nervous and really hesitant heading in. That whole learned helplessness thing that we talked about was really, really plaguing my mind, but I felt more aware of it. I felt more aware of the fact that like, okay, you feel like you have no control. You feel like nothing's gonna work out, but that doesn't have to be reality. Like we can only have control over the things that we have control over. The only thing I control is my actions and my reactions. And so I tried to be as put together as I could be for that appointment. And long story short, love my surgeon, my new surgeon. Um, I think he's great. He's a very talented guy who's come highly recommended by a lot of people, a lot of people. He took a look at things and he is someone who is very hesitant to do surgery because uh, you never know if it's really gonna fix things, right? What has happened since my last surgery is that there is bone growth where there shouldn't be bone growth at the very end of my leg. I'll pop an x-ray up on screen. You can kind of see where on the one side, it comes down past the other bone and kind of goes like this, right? Well, it's kind of sharp in there and it shouldn't come down like that. And one of the biggest issues is there's no soft tissue surrounding it. There's like no muscle. And so it's kind of bone grinding on whatever. Um, and considering how the bone growth is, it's also kind of sharp and uncomfortable. And so what we're gonna do, we have a course of action. If nothing else, I am super grateful for a course of action. At least I know how to move forward. I'm frightened for what the future holds, but I can't control that. We are gonna spend the next two to four weeks slathering my leg in CBD oil in high quality just the best Colorado has to offer. I'm headed down to a dispensary actually later today. That's right, a dispensary, not any grocery store stuff. And we are going to see if that works. Considering other things haven't, there isn't necessarily a high probability that it will. And considering that I have tried CBD oil in the past for my neck, not oil, cream, that's the difference. I've tried the cream before. I don't know that it'll work, but hey, it could. And if that works, great, and I'll be walking. But if it doesn't, I'll be headed back in for surgery in about a month and they will fix things up. They'll shave down that bone, They're, they'll put bone wax on it to hopefully stop that growth from happening again. A plastic surgeon will be involved to fix the crease down the middle of my leg, not for cosmetic purposes at all. It can actually cause issues. And they're going to stretch my leg, like stretch the skin, the, the muscle and, and everything to try to get more tissue to support that that bone so that it's not right at the surface. We'll talk a little bit more about that, but let's head out and get some CBD oil. We are gonna go to a pot shop, to a dispensary. I always feel weird going into one, which is so silly. I was just like raised to think that all drugs are terrible. So even though I've tried marijuana before for pain, I just, it like didn't work for me. I still feel weird, still feel weird going. So I'll take you guys with me. You'll keep me company, I'll feel safer. We have arrived. Just like homeschooled Joe is like, this isn't, this isn't safe, this isn't right, there's weed here. That was my impression of 13 year old me. Let's give it a shot guys. I'm just gonna keep my fingers crossed that CBD oil is the cure. Success guys. This is really freaking expensive. So let's hope it works. It does come in pretty packaging though. So this is Restore by Coda. Lemon, lavender, and frankincense should smell nice. And I'm gonna go head home and give this a shot and see if it works. Fingers crossed that it does. That was actually a really nice place. They were super nice in there. We're here, we're home. We have our Crafted for Luxury Relief CBD oil. I'm gonna need you guys to do something for me real quick. And uh, no, it's not hit like and subscribe on this video like you thought I was about to say. Though if you want to do that, that'd be cool too. Cross your fingers for me guys that this actually works it'd be really cool if it was effective and it is time to give this a shot I don't expect this to like work immediately or anything like that I'm not sure what your experiences are let me know in the comment section down below if you've tried CBD oil and if it helps you but um, from my understanding it can, it, it can take a little while sometimes so my surgeon said I should know within two three weeks tops if it's really working or not if I have to have surgery it's gonna be great I'm gonna get through it and side note if I did have to have surgery my little heart or peach or butt like most people call it like that line that goes 
was down the middle of my leg would actually be gone um, because of the, the plastic surgery that they would do. Again, it's not at all for cosmetic reasons. There's other reasons, but a byproduct would be that that crease is gone. And I, I, don't, I don't love it. If nothing else, that'd be something to be happy about. So let's get this started. Let's get this process started tonight. And I'm gonna stay consistent with it. Give it a solid shot to work. And gosh darn it, I hope it does. Sorry for the weird lighting, guys. That's just how it is right now. How do we do this? It smells really nice, actually. Massage this emollient rich salve onto any area of the body that needs softening and enjoy. I don't need softening, guys. I need pain relief. Is that cool? Definitely, definitely smells like weed. I actually expected it not to. I don't know if you've ever like walked into a room and been like, someone is someone is definitely smoking something that is not a cigarette nearby. That's what it smells like. I talked to the people at the store about this and they said that this was like the strongest, best relief that I could find. I may experiment with some, some other ones and we'll see what happens. Cross your fingers for me, guys. Uh, if you like this video, I'd love it if you'd hit like and subscribe. I'm a YouTuber, I, I gotta say that, right? Uh, Brian just got home, so I'm gonna hit stop recording on this video and hang out with my lovely husband, but but I love you guys. I am thinking about you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Have an awesome night. It makes my fingers feel weird. I don't know if that's supposed to happen or not. Eh, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully it'll be fine. Have you heard from the sky?